This morning, two climbers are celebrating a historic moment in their sport. Tommy Caldwell and Kevin Jorgensen reached the summit of El Capitan in Yosemite on Wednesday. It marked the end of a 19-day journey of free climbing. They used just their hands and feet to reach the top. They're the first to accomplish that lofty goal. The two are with us this morning from Yosemite, along with Tommy's wife, Becca, who's helping out because her husband has lost his voice. Good morning. <laughs> Uh, and thank you, Tommy. Good morning. Despite Good morning. losing your voice, we're <laughs> pleased to have you here with us, and also to Becca. Uh, Kevin, help us understand the enormity of what you have done and what it means to you. Well, Tommy first envisioned this line in 2007, and it was a pretty audacious goal given where the climb is located on El Cap. All the other climbs follow very distinct cracks, and this is the blankest section of the wall. So it really did take every bit of those seven years of work to make this real. And it means what to you and to Tom? <sighs> means what? I mean, anything is possible if you work hard enough, it feels <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's one there you go. Most. When I first joined the team with, with Tommy, the climb felt impossible, quite literally. And to feel the pieces come together year after mm -hmm. year was remarkable. But I heard you guys say that this is not, you are not thrill seekers. This is a realization of a lifelong dream. What was a dream and why are you not thrill seekers? Why was this so much more than that to you? Becca? Climbing <laughs> <laughs> is more of a, a journey mm -hmm. of just passion and it is about freaking so mm. seeking thrills. I yeah, can you guys hear that at all? Yeah, she said it. Very good, Tommy. Said it. Very good. Climbing is, you're good. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> was failure not an option? Was that your mantra as you were going up there? Did you run into things that you did not anticipate? Um, personally, I ran into a lot of challenges that I didn't anticipate. You know, it took me seven days to get past a single section of the climb. And it took a lot of resolve to stay positive and, and see it through. What did you say to yourself, Kevin, at the di most difficult moment? What did you say to yourself? Honestly, I said, I don't want to be the guy that almost climbed the dawn wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what hurts you most right now, guys? Where, where are you in pain, or are you in pain? Personally, my hands and the, the yeah. skin on my hands hurts, but that's about it. So, yeah, so what's my voice? Yeah, yeah. My voice. Yeah. So, so, Becca, thank you for being there because I know I know you're a climber as well, and you and you have a, a young child, and you were watching your husband. First of all, how did he lose his voice, and um, and what do you think of their accomplishment? Um, I think their accomplishment is. You know, it's it's just amazing, and I think um, the support that everyone has shown, um, you know, with them kind of pushing them up the wall as well has been amazing too. So, Becca, do you want to do it? I don't want to do the Don Wall, no. <laughs> yes. but I, know I would. I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting up El Cap again with Tommy sometime. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised, um, Kevin, by the attention you guys have garnered? Because we've done a piece every morning, and I'm sure you know people are were rooting for you this whole wow. time. The and president tweeted a picture. Yeah, and I was going to say, the president tweeting a picture and yeah. congratulating you. What does that mean? It's pretty surreal to see rock climbing get this kind of attention. But I think it kind of points to larger themes that everybody can relate to, you know, dreaming big and seeing their projects through to the end and everyone has their own dawn wall. So I think that's what maybe is resonating with everyone. Yeah, and it's interesting because the president said he, he really mirrored what you have said and he, when he said nothing is impossible. Right. I think that's the biggest takeaway. What don't we understand about what you did? I mean, I mean, I mean it's just unimaginable to me you can do this with just your hands. But, but beyond that, what, what don't we get about this? How tired you get? How, how you know, lonely it is? How lonely it is? Mm -hmm. What? I mean, there's so much nuance that goes into completing a project like this. You know, everyone is seeing kind of the final 
you know, week of the push and us coming up on top, but what you don't see is the seven years of work yeah, and exactly. yeah. most importantly, the vision of seeing the line to begin with, you know, which Tommy did back in 2007. So there's a lot of backstory here and a lot of, a lot of days where there were no cameras and there was no story. It was just up there, yeah. well, us I up there toiling away. I know there is more to come, and I'm thinking if you've never had a Manny Petty, now's the time to do that, guys. <laughs> that could be a nice group activity. We thank you for joining us. When we come back.